Well, I'm unprepared. Um, promise much better preparation going forward. One of the things that has continuously struck me has been the non-stop emails, texts, phone calls from the Democratic Party and all different members from the local and I'm running for this and up there. And did you see what he said? You can't tolerate, you know, women not having rights. Um, you believe in our democracy, right? You, we're over the moon, we're under the moon, we're up. And send us money, send us money, send us money. And for all of you out there, money is vital. And at the same time, implicit in all of this is we know what we're doing. Send us money because the unbelievably rich, corrupt, funded Republican Party has just raised trillions of dollars for Trump. Send us money, send us money. And it's, and it's important. But what I've not seen ever is this is what we're going to do. This is the legislation. These are our actions. We are dealing with people who don't play by the rules. I don't know what movies, you all consume, or Republicans consume, and then part two, I don't know how you consume, because your interpretations do not apply to the life that I'm experiencing. So for example, J Jason Strathaim and the beekeeper, right? The beekeeper, a secret, important organization that would really take things into their own, their own hands because the system is corrupt. The League of Ungentlemanly Warfare Hitler doesn't play by the rules, so Winston Churchill recruits a band of superheroes, if you will, to do what the system cannot, because otherwise we're doomed. I just saw the new bad boys. I told you, I decided Chris Rock was a douche, and I was going to now watch Will Smith and give him a second chance, and I really enjoyed it. The movie had heart, and again... God, right? The system is corrupt. It's a recurring theme. And you know and I know it's not just the movies. And I don't even know how you can tolerate listening to Trump's bullshit, racist, putrid attacks on Kamala and others. Now, sick, sick, sick guy. I'm going to go under the covers and, and finish this. Please remind, it is just lovely to have room for your feet when you lie back under the covers. All right. So where am I going to head today for the ending? Where I'm going to head is Hillary Clinton used the term basket of deplorables. 
and I've shared in another video, I think she's right. Conservative is, it's, I dare any of you, practice. Go look in the mirror. This is what I stand for, I'm a conservative. Invariably, you're just stupid as shit. You're white trash, or you just, I benefit from a corrupt system, therefore, any one of them, I, it's just awful stuff. But there's so many issues, even in preparing, you, there's, we live in a very complex, big world now. And pointing your finger at any one thing, and there's so many, and it's not like, it, just like there's so many channels, it's not like one channel appeals to everyone. There's so many things you can get yourself bent out of shape, fighting all kinds of battles. What struck me is, and I realize now, we have an audience, many of you, you don't even know who Rodney Dangerfield is. One of the greatest stand-up comedians and then the actor comedians ever. Got to start in the Catskill Mountains, working at the hotels. Um, grew up in Babylon, changed his name to Rodney Dangerfield. But, so you don't know who he is, many of you do, many of you don't. Um, I don't get no respect, Rodney, man. But you also don't know who Sam Kinison is. And in the movie Back to School, Rodney Dangerfield plays a self-made man who goes back to school because his son was going to that college with a young Robert Downey Jr. But his son was stressed out and so Rodney decides he's gonna attend college. And there's a couple of really famous scenes where Sam Kinison, playing a professor, screams at Rodney, say it, just say it. And Rodney would, <laughs> you know, give his straightforward response. And it was just great stuff. But for all of you, let me say it. What this election is about is overt corruption and judicial fraud. Read the Declaration of Independence. I told you, and I'm, I'm gonna continue to stay on this, it's vitally important. We went to war with England because the courts were corrupt. Today, the courts are completely corrupt. The Supreme Court is a dirty, disgusting organization. They are not the law. The law has become a laughing stock. And ha, 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 we'll do whatever we want. It's another variation of George Floyd. We'll kill you. We'll do whatever we want. We're the court. I know you, you all are, you can't connect the dots. But that's what this election is about, is overt corruption and judicial fraud. And we've always, it's always been an issue of where does the Supreme Court stay, stand? It shouldn't be a legislative body. But what we're seeing and what the Republicans do is just fuck up the legislature, fuck up the House, fuck up the Senate, of course the President, he's a sick fuck, fuck it all up, but then, the bought and controlled court will slam things down. That's what this election is about. It's not that the other issues aren't important. Reproductive rights. Um, oh God, it's endless. You, there, there's just, it's endless. But what, it, there are subheadings to truth and justice for all. This is how Mince thumbs up, feet up.